The Canary Islands, a Spanish archipelago of seven islands off the coast of Northwest Africa, is a place often overlooked due to its isolation and relatively small geographic territory. However, the footprint on American culture spanning from South America to North America is undeniably much larger than the geographic size the autonomous community covers. The original Canary Islanders fought in the American Revolution, they fought in the Alamo, they settled the lands of Louisiana, Florida, and Texas, the Caribbean, Central, and South America. The Canary Islanders' impact in the social makeup, culture, and language is so big, yet criminally overlooked. In this video, I take you to the historical part of Las Palmas de Gran Canaria to investigate and meet locals who share the history and allow us to trace our roots. But before I begin, I just want to remind you guys that I'm working with West Cork Beard Company. You can see more of the link in the description of the products that I use. All right, you guys. Well, we've uh, escaped from what Antonio told me was one of the more sketchy neighborhoods in Las Palmas Sola. I don't know. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I didn't feel uh, any danger there. I've been in more dangerous places, but nonetheless, I like exploring those places. And so now, we're back in Vegeta. We're gonna go explore the historical zone a little more. Check out the house of Christopher Columbus. Man, the weather's perfect here. It's about five in the afternoon. All right, you guys, so up there is where I was exploring earlier, up through those little alleyways. That's where I met Antonio. And so there's another mountain over there, I'm sure. It would be a fun place to explore if I had some time, but I don't. Bar Perico, Calle Sor Jesus. Huh. Bar Perico. ¿Qué significa, ¿Qué significa Bar Perico? Bar Perico es un bar que lleva más de 100 años de abierto. Mira este bar. Perdón, es el único en las siete islas que tiene una canción. Vente al Bar Perico si quieres tomar café. Vale. Muchas gracias. All right, you guys, let's have a little drink. Eso es típico de la Canaria. Un botellín, un botellín. Un botellín, yo, botellín. yo quiero te, botellón. grande, grande. Un botellón. Botellón, botellón. Como en el parque. Botellón en el parque. <risa> Vamos. No, está bien así, gracias. Nada, tropical, tropical. Cerveza sin rival. <risa> uh, la cerveza canaria está muy buena, muy buena, muy buena. Sobre todo cuando mm. no llegue 12 o 13 también. También. <risa> sí. Arturo, ¿esto es Arturo? Sí, es de Arturo. Y Jennifer López. Hace seis días. Eh, madre mía, tu novia. Tu <risa> querida. Hola. Sí, gracias, señorita. Eh, soy nacido en Venezuela. Vale. Y nacionalizado en español. Papá era de aquí de la ciudad. Ajá. Mi papá hace 72 años tuvo que emigrar de aquí de la isla por las consecuencias de la Segunda Guerra Mundial. Sí, en aquella época aquellos países estaban muy bien económicamente. El Bolívar, que es la moneda de Venezuela, sí. valía más que el dólar. Jodín. Todo el mundo sabe cómo está Venezuela ahorita con los gobiernos que hay. Después de 72 años se repitió la historia, pero al revés. Yo he tenido que emigrar de allá de Venezuela. Desgraciadamente... Como están las cosas ahorita en el mundo, yo le doy gracias a Dios que me, España me recibió claro. con los brazos abiertos. ¿De La Palma? Sí. Muy bien. ¿Todos de La Palma? Arrucas. Arrucas. Yo de La Palma. ¿La Palma? Yo de La Palma. Palma. Yo La Palma. Vale, vale. Que viva La Palma, que viva La Palma. Claro, viva la alegría, hombre. Pa' alegría, animado, vamos. All right, these are uh, Canary Island meatballs. Albóndigas, este romiel indio canario. Qué bien. Muy bueno. Con la cocinera Sony. Honey rum. Quería decir que mi, eh, mi bisabuela fue a Cuba a principios del siglo XX y luego volvió en los años... Eh, tengo familia en Cuba y, y, me, y mi abuelo se casó con una cubana y volvió con una cubana y, y trajo sangre cubana a Canarias. Esta casa se llama uh, la Casa del Cachorro Canario, eh, dedicada a los canarios que se fueron a Texas en el año 1758 y actualmente hay muchos canarios que viven allí y formaron familias eh, americanas. Sí. O sea que son canarios, pero son americanos. Bien. Y aquí, en homenaje a los canarios fundadores de San Antonio en Texas, 
1731. All right, so Augustine was telling me here that this is the original house of the Canary Islanders, Los Isleños, that went to Texas. They, they lived in San Antonio, Texas. Pero fueron emigrantes. Sí. Porque la economía ya, el, el imperio español estaba ya muy débil. Y aquí tiene Santo Domingo. Esta iglesia es prototipo de muchas que están en Latinoamérica, católica. Vale, muy, muchas vale. gracias. So this church right here was the prototype for the many churches, the Catholic churches you see throughout the Americas, especially Central America, the Caribbean, South America. This is the prototype. And we're in the Plaza de Santo Domingo. And of course, there's Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. So it's interesting to see this history right here before our eyes and where the history of America originates. And this, this house is a family of Castillos and the nobility, the, the, the one land, land owner. The crown of Spain, of the uh, Catholic kings, will keep, the, will keep the land. They look after the land, but belonging to the crown of uh, Castile. Uh -huh. So they become what you call aristocracy. Virreinato. Virreinato. Más o menos. Más o menos. Virreinato in, in America. Okay. But here they were... Um, the work is stealing people. Sí, sí, sí. Sit down and, and beat all this around. Okay? Agustin, muchas gracias. Okay, enjoy. What a nice guy, Agustin. He works for the local university. He's given me a load of information about the history right here. From the doctor that tried to cure people with cholera to the original Isleños that went to San Antonio, Texas, to the prototype church that was the church that they try to emulate, that they try to construct throughout the Caribbean, Central and South America, all right here in Las Palmas de Gran Canarias. Hay una canción de un cantante de aquí de la isla que se llama Braulio, se llama Venezuela, y él hace una similitud de las, de las cosas típicas de aquí de Canarias y las cosas típicas de Venezuela. Por ejemplo, allá nosotros le decimos mondongo a la comida, un plato que se llama mondongo, aquí le dicen eh, sancocho. Entre Canarios y Venezuela son prácticamente la misma cosa. Eso es. Dicen que el Venezuela es la octava. La octava isla de isla Canaria. Ajá. Y es verdad. Hombre, qué bien, qué bien. <laughs> Muchas gracias, Arturo. Ok. Venga. Un placer. Un placer. Hasta luego. Gracias por tenerme. Que viva la Canaria y la América. Vamos. <laughs> wow. Qué buena gente. What nice people, you guys. Wow. Bar Perico. Bar Perico. Vamos, vamos. Arriba. Alegría. En el casco antiguo. Wow. Very nice people. Wow, they told me so much great information, you guys. We're in a beautiful place still in La Vegeta. And what are some of the things they told me? They told me that this is, uh, I think, San Jose, right? Like San Jose, Costa Rica. And this is San Juan, this, this barrio, right? San Juan, Puerto Rico. And then there, they were just really nice people. Perfect example of how Canary Islanders are Isleños in the Americas. So let's go explore a little more. That was a very fun time. And that beer, you guys, I got three beer for 350. I don't know if she miscalculated, but I gave her a five because that's just ridiculously cheap. And it was a good beer, a good beer called El Tropical. A good Canary Island beer. Wow, the things that happen when you meet locals, you guys. The locals are the real treasure of the places you go to. This is where I'm staying tonight. Check it out. We have a nice balcony, nice historic place. Wow. Just look at the table. Beautiful photo, nice wood. Ooh, check it out. Original Canary Island materials. I like it. En la Casa Sardas con Jenny, de aquí, de, de la Palma Palmas. de Gran Canaria. La casa es de 1836. Vale. Este es el primer dueño, un terrateniente. Aquí tienes como puedes comprobar la casa muy antigua. Ajá. Muy, muy antigua. Sí, me, me mola, me gusta. Sí. Subiendo la escalera tienes la terraza. Adelante okay. tienes las dos no fumadores y la de atrás la de fumadores. Perfecto. Cualquier cosa que necesites. Muy bien. Me lo hace saber a mí. Let's see the terraza where I'm staying. Wow. 
beautiful. Right in the historic part of La Palmas, La Vegeta. The Spanish missions, right? All throughout California, marking their cities there. Here we go. We have a reference to that perhaps. Plaza de San Francisco. Plazas, right? Spanish cities, the squares. Always having some sort of historical reference. Nobody's here today. There's a Casa de la Musica. I just love these plazas in the Spanish cities here. Present throughout the Americas. The beautiful architecture. And the palm trees. We're in Las Palmas. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Todo bien? Todo bien, todo bien. And the Canary Island people are very friendly. All right, let's go see what we can find. Woohoo! Would you look at that? Look at this nice building. Here we got the Geary's eating, wearing the shorts. And a little uh, statue here. I'm not sure who it's commemorating. Ah, Carrasco, 1876. There you go, right before the fall of the Spanish Empire. Puerto Rico, Cuba, Philippines fell, you guys. Let's be honest, the greedy imperial United States at the time found a way to finagle his way into Cuba, declare war on Spain, and basically steal Cuba, Puerto Rico, and the Philippines. But uh, you can imagine this place was bustling as a, as a transcontinental port here during the 17th, 18th centuries especially. Starting in, you know, the Caribbean, La Habana, Veracruz, La Florida, New Orleans. Stopping here and then going to, later on, Cadiz and Sevilla, which really Cadiz and Sevilla had the monopoly on the Spanish-American trade there. Also, don't forget La Guaira in Venezuela. Wow, beautiful scenery here in the old town. Casco Antiguo, La Vegeta. Really, really liking it here, you guys. And it was so cold in Madrid that it's so nice to be here. Wow. If I have anyone from the Americas that follow me in particular, South America, Central America, and you haven't been here yet, let me know if this sort of reminds you of of your city perhaps. Maybe you have a Casco Antiguo, like Casco Antiguo, Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, or Casco Antiguo in Panama City. Very similar vibes whenever you visit these old towns, these Casco Antiguos in Spain, to the ones that you'll see in the Americas. Here we are, you guys, in the Casa de Colón, or Christopher Columbus House, right? The museum that apparently has artifacts from his voyages as he stopped here in route to which would become the Spanish Caribbean. Well, this night's not over quite yet. We're here in the more modern parts of the city. We've got a big skate park. Look at the Canary Island skateboarders living it up here. I wanted to show you guys one last thing before we end the video and that is like the touristic beach here that if you do come to the beach you're gonna come to this side wow look at the canary island skateboarders living life if you're a skateboarder spain is one of the best countries to be a skateboarder party party well you guys i have came to the last stop of the night playa de las canteras it's your typical tourist zone nice white sand beach nice little bay got some waves out there a line of hotels, restaurants, everything you need. And I didn't show it in the video. That's because I didn't have time, but as always, I want you guys to be convinced to come here, explore for yourselves, get to know the city of La Palmas, a city a little bigger than 300,000 people, big enough to be a city, but small enough to explore in a couple days and beautiful enough to live a lifetime. So until the next video, you guys, I'll see you from somewhere else on the island. Hasta luego.